So you made it through the first couple months of your new aquarium and you notice that everything's going good but your fish tank is uh, starting to get a little bit grimy, a little bit uh, shabby, a little bit overrun with some algae maybe or a little bit uh, just looking a little bit dirty. It's time to do a water change. Now in my mind when I first was told from the pet store, hey you need to do a water change. So I was thinking, oh man, I've got to you know, take the gravel out, clean the gravel, take the fish out, scoop the fish out, hunt for the fish, uh, take the plants out, break down my filter and do all that. And I'm thinking, dude, I mean, that's a, seems like a lot of, a lot of things I have to do to, to do a water change. But then, you know, I did that once and I'm like, man, this is a lot of work. And so the real way when you hear do a water change, I'll show you an easy way uh, you don't have to get into your clean your gra uh, you know take out your gravel and clean it, and take out your plants, take out your fish. You don't have to do none of that. What you need to do is you need to have a gravel vacuum, and I'll show you that here in a sec, and a bucket and a scrubber. Three things. So those are the three things you need in order to do a water change without killing your fish. What's going on, guys? This is Johnny, aka Tropical Fish Guy. Today we are going to talk obviously about how to do a water change on your fish tank easily, okay, as easy as possible, uh, without getting rid of all your, uh, you, you know, scooping all your fish up, cleaning out, you know, taking out your gravel, washing it out, you don't have to do none of that. Uh, what you need is three things, you need, and a couple optional things but what you need is you need a gravel vacuum also known as a siphon this one is for a 10 gallon size they come in very different sizes uh, but um, you'll need that you'll need a bucket and you'll need a scrubber now depending on the kind of fish tank you have I have an acrylic tank this acrylic scrubber works on both acrylic and glass. It's a finer brush and it's the blue one and not the white one, but I'm sure it doesn't matter, but I always stayed with the acrylic brush for the acrylic. So that's just what I do. You can do whatever, but let me show you this fish tank that we're going to clean today. So like I said at the beginning, um, this tank has been set up for a long time. It's, it's well established. I don't know if you can tell, but it's lo looking a little grimy in there. Uh, the filter's getting clogged up. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a whole lot of uh, algae building up on the glass. I think you can see a good shot of that there, all that algae. And it's looking like that it needs a good cleaning, but you know, we we're gonna do it the right way, the efficient way, the fast way. And we'll get to, and I'll show you how to do it. So the three things are, okay, so, oh, also, other things you'll need. <laughs> Maybe more than three, you'll need a towel, okay? Always need a towel. And you're gonna need a pitcher, all right? And I'll put uh, the bucket and the gravel vacuum on the, in the description in a link. Um, so you guys can check that, check all that out. Um, but definitely depending on the size of your aquarium, you want to get a, you know, the appropriate gravel vacuum. This one's like a five or eight and these are 10 gallons. So I'm going to show you in this one how to properly do a water change without uh, killing your fish. Um, so this one is, is looking a little bit, uh, bad it's got we'll deal with the plants later so let's just go ahead and get started okay so normally what you would do is you turn off the power but I need to leave the light on so I can show you how to do it uh, so you take this gravel vacuum or the, basically it's a siphon right you find the end of it you stick the end in the bucket all right stick the end in the bucket The end is in the bucket. Now you take this end and make sure you get the one with the bulb, okay? The bulb makes a big difference. It's it's uh, just a, a few pumps versus having to know how to start a siphon and stuff like that, which is real 
pain to some people and it turns people off. So easy wheezy is use the uh, the, the bulb. Uh, let's see here. So I need two hands for this. I'm going to stick the end of this into the aquarium. Okay. Then I am going to hold this with one hand. As I pump the bulb, water will come up from the aquarium into the tube into the floor. <laughs> into the bucket. Okay. Into the bucket. Make sure this thing stays in. All right, so before you get started, you want to make sure that the, as you saw before, that the hose goes to your bucket. Make sure that plenty of it is in there so the water goes in your bucket, not on your floor. So get started, pump this a couple of times. You hear the noise of the water, and you'll see that the water coming up from the tank into the bucket yay bucket so you want to press down if you don't have plants covering your gravel but if you do what you would want to do is just hover over just hover over like this but you can see if the more you go down into it the more junk gets pulled up so you're cleaning the gravel without taking it out of the tank you're not disturbing your fish you're not doing anything that can hurt them. Okay, see all that bad junk? I hope you got a chance to see that. You want to get as much of the gravel as you can without disturbing your fish, without disturbing your tank. Um, look at that. That's some good stuff right there. I hope you got to see that. So, ideally, you're going to turn your filters off, but I'm just going to do this just to show you. I'm going to hover over. All right, hover over this. Yeah, this water's draining down. You want to go through, and I'm just going to hover over because I don't want to suck up any of that java moss there. Um, okay. And just go through the sections of your aquarium. Maybe next time go through the other section over there. But for now, that's good. It just takes a few minutes. You don't want to take too much of your water out and freak out the fish. You've got your bucket full of dirty tank water okay and at this point in time if you wanted to clean your filter out or anything I'll do a video on how to clean out the hang on back filter later but at this point you take your scrubber brush and you see all this algae here I hope you can see all that stuff that's covering the entire tank that's kind of what's making it look a little bit uh, shabby there if you will so I'm going to dip this in the water and just start scrubbing Scrub, scrub, scrub. Okay. Like that. You can see that the uh, algae is coming off nicely there. And like I said before, there's different types of scrubber brushes, right? There's the, um, there's the acrylic scrubber brush, which these tanks, acrylic is just the plastic, right? And this, this one will also work with the glass tanks as well. Um, I always get this one. You can get the glass one for your glass tanks. I've not, I've used this acrylic one for glass tanks, but I've not used the glass for the acrylic. I heard that it's more harsher, but we'll see. So basically just run your scrubber along this. You can see all that grime right there. Hope you can see that, that grime right there. You want to scrub it real good like that. It's going to mess up. It's going to, uh, if your plants aren't rooted really good, it's going to float your plants, and I'll show you how to keep your plants from floating in another video. Always something to do in a fish tank, right? Uh, it's a good, good uh, hobby to have. It could be pretty uh, intensive in work, but uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to minimize the work, and we're trying to uh, enjoy the fish tank more. So the more you can get scrubbed here, the better. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect or anything, just to your to your standard there. However you want to do it. I like to just get a good scraping there. 
and you don't want to go too far into the plants and mess those up if you're if you don't have too many plants you can do that uh, like I said however you want to do it whatever works for you but I at least I like to get the front of the tank so when you're looking at it you enjoy it and the corners too the corners here right there we go without hurting the fish this side here that's good and the back of course as much far back as you can um, and I'm kind of doing more than I usually do uh, the plants are going to come up rooted a little bit but I'll show you how to and then you might want to re, re uh, replant your plants but that looks pretty good for now um, I'll probably do this here in the next month or so again uh, a lot of people they tell you you know once a week once every two weeks water change um, you know it's up to you right as long as you test your water and your water's uh, maintaining good uh, good uh, water parameters which just means that uh, the ammonia is down to zero you don't have any ammonia ammonia is the number one killer of fish you can see my video on that I'll put a link up there here's my towel Here's my towel, wash, dry your hands off. Take a look at it and see if you missed any spots. Whatever, if you did, you can get, catch it next time, no big deal. Really turn off your power so that if your heater gets cooked or whatever, you, you don't want that to happen, but I'm just leaving it on so I can show you. And, but also, sometimes I just leave it on anyway, and I just don't go past the filter line where it would stop sucking up the water, so. You know, maybe 25% looks like what? 25% water change. Uh, I'm going to fill this back up with my pitcher. So all that dirty water, right? What do you do with all this dirty water? You could just dump that out, or you can plant. Uh, you can you know recycle that water. And uh, this guy needs uh, this guy needs some some water here. You can water your plants with it, right? And uh, they love this dirty fish poop water, right? So I'm just going to dump a little bit in there, pour the rest out, refill the bucket. Let's do that. I'm going to take this, dump this outside. A little bit of a rainy day today. Dump that out there. Whatever your heater's set at, right? There's the heater back there. Whatever the heater set at, you want to refill the bucket with the same temperature of water. Uh, right now, I'm able to feel, you know, the same same t uh, water temperature or whatever. But uh, what you would want to do is you'd want to get, if you're not used to it, if you are, no big deal. If you're not, you want to get a thermometer and you'd see the, the temperature of the tank. And that's a little bit high but it will go down maybe I have to check that and I am treating but you want to take the temperature whatever the temperature of that is right there 83 a little bit high usually I do about 78 80 uh, these fish they don't mind it they don't mind it a little bit warm um, that is a little bit warm anyway but they can handle it so know the temperature of the tank we're going to refill this thing up with water. So, rinse this off a little bit, get all that fish poop water out of there. Okay. That's cold. Turn the hot water on. Turn the cold water on. Adjust. see here yep it seems about right so I use a couple of different things Amquil plus this removes ammonia whatever um, ammonia remover you want to use these two are my favorite ones I like the ammo lock or the Amquil plus um, removes ammonia you can use whatever prime or whatever you have but I'll put links uh, to the description below in here as well as stress coat now 
The stress coat removes the chlorine and chloramines, which this does as well. So you could get away with only using this, this one. And I've done that for uh, quite often. You know, sometimes I use this only, but for this one, it has the healing power of aloe vera, which reduces stress to the fish. I'm stressing these fish out by doing water change. So I'm gonna use both. So it says that usually a cap full per 10 gallons but I just put a cap full in there and it's hard to overdose. You can't overdose on this too, too easily. Put that in there. And the stress coat with the healing power of aloe vera. Put a half a cap full or a cap full, whatever in there. Um, and also my water is very soft. So I have to add some equilibrium as well as I have uh, guppies, okay? Guppies really love hard water. So this uh, restores, maintains a good general hardness. I would, I would recommend this if you have a fish that likes hard water. Um, normally, if you don't have plants, right? The reason why I use this instead of aquarium salt is that if you don't, if you have plants, salt will kill the plants. You don't want your plants dead. So every time you hear someone say, hey, just put salt, you need salt in with all your live bears, which are guppies, platies, mollies, that kind of thing. Uh, that is a true statement. They do like minerals in their water, but you can't do that if you have live plants. Okay, just remember that. So anyway, um, on this, I put about, put a pinch in there. Just put a pinch in there. Make sure that you, you use the... Um, you follow the instructions and stuff, but I kind of know by experience of how much I need. Take my my net and I stir it up real good, like that. Takes a few minutes for the ammonia detoxifier to work. And I'll give that a minute or two. Uh, it says it works instantly, I think somewhere on there, but whatever. I just stir it up real good, make sure all that uh, equilibrium gets mixed in there. Uh, another thing that I use to maintain the pH is, is a cuddle bone because that has a lot of calcium in there that uh, adds some hardness to the water as well. I've got another calcium, uh, it's a cuddle bone. I've got another cuddle bone up there. You'll see the, I don't know if you can see, but the snails, uh, there's a snail up on top there. Uh, and they, the snails, they love that stuff. Um, and this one has been in there so long that it's, it's sinking. I don't have to weigh it down. I'm going to have to maybe weigh that down so it gets out of the way of the light, but nah, no big deal. Guppies love, uh, the minerals in the water. Um, live bearers, they do too. Tetris, not so much, but they can, they can deal with it. Um, but anyways, so we got that, got this. We're going to take our towel, take your towel. Take your pitcher, you need a pitcher, okay, or some kind of, you could take this if you're strong and pour it in there, but it'll just uh, mess up the, stress out the fish more, pull your pant, plants up more, whatever, but uh, take this, pour it in there. Now you could use something like a glass or something like that or your hand so it doesn't hurt the, um, it doesn't move your plants around too much or disturb the gravel or whatever like that. You know, I just do things the easy, fast way. Um, like that. All right. Okay. Okay. Something like that. You can see that it's clearing up already. I mean, it looks a lot nicer. Um, after I do something with those plants, I added those plants too in between the video. So if you notice, hey man, we'll have, there's a lot more plants in there than there used to be. I just threw them in there. Because uh, I'm going to do a, a video on how to anchor plants. Or how to keep plants from floating, whatever. But I'll do that later. Right now, I'm showing you how to do a water change. Okay, so you want to fill it up to the uh, rim. See where that, uh, the water line is to the black room, that's about where you want to keep it. Hopefully you get to see that. And if you're looking at the tank, right, uh, you want just, uh, you don't want it to overflow, obviously. You don't fill it all the way to the top here. 
you fill it up to the base of the rim or the base of your filter. However you want to do it. I mean, there's no hard, fast rule. It's just as long as you don't flood your house, right? You're good. Um, so, clean, clean things up. Wait a while for that to settle. And I, like I said, I'll move some of these plants out of the way so you guys can see whatever. Um, and then wait. Look at that beta. Isn't he cool? That guy here, he, uh, he's a veil tail beta. Beta. A veil tail beta. I know you're supposed to say beta, but I've always said beta. Whatever. Um, you know, it's, it's just the way I talk, man. But, uh, he's cool. The blue with the red. It comes with the red. It comes through to the tip of his fins with the red stuff. Very nice looking fish. And the veil tails, what I was going to say, the veil tails, they are, to me, uh, one of the prettiest type fish, uh, prettiest type beta fish, and they're the cheapest. And this guy right here is probably over at, uh, I get them at, at Petco, because to me, Petco has the uh, biggest selection, but wherever you, you're, you want to shop at, PetSmart or any big box store, or any local fish store, these guys are a staple. You'll find betas everywhere, um, as well as guppies and stuff, but, you know, I love guppies. I love cool looking, you know, uh, dojo loaches back there. That's really cool. Guppies are my favorite. There's some guppies there. Um, right there. Endlers, maybe. Uh, depends. There's a guppy there. Cool little yellowtail guppy right there. Uh, I've got lots of guppies. My favorite fish is either a beta or a guppy, depending on the day. That's pretty cool. There's some cool guppies. Oh, I got me a, I got me some tuxedo guppies a pair of tuxedo guppies yesterday from a new fish store that i went to don't they look pretty isn't that cool look at that that's the girl wait where's the girl that's not the girl there's the girl look at her isn't that isn't she pretty she got the pink uh, the orange on her nose and her fins and this dude here he's got uh orange and black that's why they call it the uh tuxedo they call it a koi tuxedo pair I spent 15 bucks for the pair, you know, but you can just get regular old guppies. I mean, these are regular old guppies here. Those were like, you know, two or three bucks each. But uh, I like to get, sometimes get the specialized guppies, no big deal. But up to you, whatever you like. But anyways, that is the water change on a fish tank. Okay, we'll let that sit for a minute, let it settle, and uh, I'll come back and show you what it looks like after I prune this stuff a little bit and uh, show you what it looks like here in a couple minutes or so. All right, so after about uh, 30, 40 minutes, I added some kabamba plant there, some hair grass, uh, and uh, I think a piece of uh, Sagittarius. I'm not sure what that is, some kind of hair grass, Sagittarius kind of thing, uh, that I got from this local uh, plant dealer i guess and he uh he's got all kinds of cool stuff we went out there yesterday and got uh in this plant in this tank i put uh a nice piece of anubius here a couple of pieces actually uh, so those those uh check that tank out that's adds a little flare to that tank there uh this tank here we'll put something else in the corner there I didn't put anything uh, too big there. I put the grass in there, but we'll, we'll switch it all up. We've still got plenty of plants over here that we can move from there. And uh, changed out that filter there, did a water change, and there you have it. Doesn't look as dingy, looks nice and new, nice and shiny, crystal clear. Uh, fish is happy, doing really good. Uh, everybody's great. Uh, so, so that's how you do a water change, quick and easy. Um, no needing to have to remove the gravel, remove the fish, none of that stuff. Just a real quick in and out, 10, 15 minute kind of thing. Now this is just one part of the overall aquarium maintenance thing. You know, you do the power filter, your, can, your uh, hang on back filters, your sponge filters, your uh, underground filters, whatever. That, that's also part of the maintenance, but this little piece is just uh, how to do a quick and dirty water change. So I hope you like this. Please give me a like. Uh, leave me a comment. Uh, 
Subscribe, share this with someone who's got a fish tank who's uh, needing to do a water change, all right? So if you want different tips and tricks on aquarium topics, uh, sign up for my newsletter. I send it out at least once a week. Go to tropicalfishguide.com slash sign up. And uh, sign up, we'll uh, send you, you know, fish, fun fish facts, tips and tricks, you know, the latest uh, products and stuff. So uh, sign up. Thanks for watching. Peace out.